This video is going to be all about upgrading your life. However, I've created videos in the past that talk about upgrading your life. And you know what? I think they were pretty good videos. What I realized though is a lot of the videos online about upgrading your life are just a series of different habits or mindset shifts that you can adopt. And that is super powerful, it really is. To understand all the little individual things that you can do that will help you to upgrade your life can be extremely empowering. However, when I reflected on my own journey, because I have absolutely upgraded my life over the past few years, specifically over the past few months. And I reflected on how I did that. And what I realized was that I actually had utilized a strategy, a proven method that I actually use in my business. So if you didn't know, I'm a business coach. I teach people how to build a sustainable online business. And within that, I try to do it in the most simplest way possible. There are some tools and techniques that I use, which upon reflection, I realized can can be applied to changing your life. So if you want to actually sit down with a strategy, with a step-by-step -step process that will help you to upgrade your life over the next six months, this video is for you. So to give you a little bit of context, when you're starting an online business, one of the most important factors that you need to identify is how you actually help your customers. That's what a business is. It essentially is a solution for a problem for a particular group of people. One of the exercises that I give my students is an exercise called the A to B journey. And what we actually do is we figure out exactly where their audience is now, all the problems that they're struggling with and exactly where they desire to be, the transformation they desire to have. And then from there, we condense that into what's called the PVT model, which is taking a simplified version of the problem and the transformation and creating a vehicle between those two points. Your business is essentially getting someone from problem to transformation, the vehicle that takes someone from problem to transformation. And I realized that that theory can be applied to any area of life. Any area of life where we desire change, there's three things that are involved within that. That's where we are now, where we desire to be, and what we have to do to get there. And so that's really what I wanna teach you in today's video, is I want you to, I wanna teach you this strategy so that you can apply it to changing your life. So let's go through the steps. Where do you actually start? The first step is that you need to choose a vibe, okay? So you need to choose essentially like a vibe, for what it is that you wanna create. I want you to choose a word or choose a vibe for this next six months, for kind of where you desire to be at the end of this six months or the energy that you want for this transformation. For me specifically, because I'm doing this with you because we are a family and we do things together. For me at this particular stage, I have chosen wealthy baddie. That's my vibe. That's the vibe I wanna go with. And what that means to me is I wanna upgrade all areas of abundance in my life. I wanna upgrade my business. I wanna upgrade my investments, my savings. I just wanna upgrade my life, but I wanna do it in the like kind of rebellious way. You know what I mean? I just wanna stick to the energy of like, I love to skateboard and this is how I dress. And I don't take things so seriously and all of the things. Like I wanna be young, free, happy, rebellious, and still be wealthy. And so for me, wealthy baddie is my vibe, right? So the first step is I want you to choose, choose a vibe, choose an energy. Do you wanna be like healthy adventure woman or like CEO boss vibes? I don't know, whatever it is, like whatever the primary kind of visions and goals that you have, just choose a collective energy for that, for where you would like to be at the end of this year. The second step then is called the gap strategy. So then you wanna actually start really determining with severe honesty, because that is the most important part of this. You can't figure out how to get to where you wanna go if you're not honest with where you are now. So with severe honesty, with radical aggressive honesty, I want you to actually sit down with a pen and paper and two columns, or you can type it out, whatever feels good for you. The first column is where are you now? Relative to this vibe, relative to this transformation that you desire to have, where are you now? You know, for me, it would be looking at my financial position, looking at where I'm struggling. A big part of wealth creation is the mindset behind it. So where am I struggling with money? What's my relationship to money? How is my physical financial well-being going? I want you to get really clear on where you are now. And then on the other side of the page, it's as simple as what's the opposite? Or where do you desire to be? Like, you don't have to write it in specific goals. I would be 
lurking to make X amount of money. But like, how do you want to feel? If you get to the end of these six months and you have actually achieved what you've set out to achieve, upgrading your life in this particular area, what does that look like? How is it different from where you are now? Anytime you want to make a change, all you're doing is wanting to create a different reality. If you're here, you want to be over here. And why are those two places different? So write out this vibe, you know, this vibe that you're trying to create for yourself. Mine is wealthy baddie. So what does that look like? I have lots of money in investments. My business has gone to that next stage of income generation or revenue generation. I'm able to experience life a bit differently. I'm able to make these travel upgrades. So I would write out all of the things that I am wanting my life to look like at the end of this focused upgrade period. And then the next part, and I'm sorry if this sounds so simple, but sometimes the simple strategies are the ones that are actually the most effective, but you look at where you are now and where you desire to be. And then What's the vehicle between those two points? That's what you're trying to establish here because the vehicle is the blueprint. The vehicle is the plan. The vehicle, while you might not have 100% all of the answers, but at least it's the thing that's gonna get you started in your pursuit of upgrading your life. What are all the tools, the habits, the routines, the rituals? And this is what I said about it being different to those videos where it's like someone can feed you a bunch of things that may make your life better. But what we wanna do here is focus on specificity. This is where you are and where you desire to be, not just general personal development, but what are the specific strategies, tools, steps that you need to take to get from where you are to where you desire to be. And some questions that I have for you that you can start thinking about that will really help you to determine what your vehicle is. The first question is, what healing do you need to do? That's a big one. Maybe this was established when you started thinking about your A, where you are. You know, for me, again, to keep using my example, just for some continuity, like I know that I need to heal some of my limiting beliefs around money, my relationship to, to wealthy people and the fears that I have. And so the healing that I need to do is I need to heal my relationship to money. And that becomes a tether. So then I can start following that tether, unraveling that tether. If I say to myself, well, I have fears around rich people being lonely. I know the healing that I need to do is around that limiting belief. So maybe I go on Google and I Google how to heal your money mindset, you know? So at least when you start to ask yourself the questions, then it might reveal what either the next question or at least the next action might be. Another question you can ask yourself is, what lifestyle elements need to change. So have a look at your opposing reality. Like what are the differences in lifestyle? And are there some things that you can take action on today? And are there some things that you need to be patient on? I might look at my current reality and say, well, I have money in savings and essentially that's losing money based on the difference between inflation and interest rates. But that's a story for another day, isn't it? Uh, but I have money sitting in the bank. Like how can I actually transfer that into investments? What, what, what actions do I need to take? So you look at it, you look at saying, what are the lifestyle elements that actually need to change. It might be within your physical environment. It might be within your physical experience. It might be little things that you recognize. Like I just want to feel like more of a boss. And you realize that, I don't know, little things like a really elementary example, like every day you're wearing a tracksuit, but you really want to just like dress nicely and feel good about yourself. So try to get as detailed as you possibly can. Like what needs to change for my reality to stop looking like this and to start looking like this. And then the next thing is, what are those steps that I need to take? What are those habits, routines, and rituals? Maybe you did have more of a focus on health and wellness and it's like okay like I'm feeling creaky AF and I need to start going to yoga and so that would be something that you, then you can again follow that tether can I find a yoga studio near me can I buy a introduction package can I start actually booking in those sessions so that's when you start to get to the, the actions of what needs to happen in order for you to go from here to here so essentially what should be established through step three here is you not only have a, a really clear picture of where you are and where you desire to be, but you've started to build out a roadmap. Now, again, I'm sure you've heard the quote, you don't need to see the full staircase to take the first step. You're not gonna have all the answers. You're not gonna have every single answer. I don't know how to make the financial goals that I wanna make in my business at this stage, but I know the first steps that I need to take, which is managing my money 
better, which is selling more in my business and structuring it in a different way and healing my money mindset. And so as I go on that journey, the rest of the path will unfold itself to me. So this vehicle of which you're trying to develop, it really is just going to be those first initial steps. And then you want to build the momentum of taking that action. But the thing is as well, when a lot of people pursue changing their life, when a lot of people go on this journey, it's really easy to get super motivated in the beginning and then to kind of just fall back into the autopilotness of life. And so the fourth step, and I think this may be the most important if you truly do want to spend the next six months upgrading your life, is that you have to integrate the pursuit of what you're trying to do into every single day. It can take as little as five minutes, but ultimately what you're trying to do is remind yourself of what you're trying to do. So I have a little practice and it may look different for you, but maybe you can start with mine and then adjust it as you go along. But my energy, my vibe, the thing I want to do is this whole like wealthy baddie thing, right? I have two very simple things that I add to every single day. A Pinterest board. And I know you're going to be like, Erin, you always talk about Pinterest. I talk about it because it literally is life changing, but it's so powerful. Like I have a wealthy baddie Pinterest board of which I spend like five minutes every single day just pinning things. Why? Because it reminds me to go back to my vehicle. It reminds me to go back to my blueprint and actually work on changing my life. The second thing I have is a wealthy baddy playlist. When I'm in the car, when I'm having a shower, when I'm cleaning, I put this on because again, those songs then become a reminder, an integrated reminder that I'm trying to pursue something. Rather than just doing all of these exercises and being like, well, I'm done, that was fun, I feel motivated, I'm excited, and then a week later, just going back to current reality A, every day reminding yourself of I need to do the work, I need to show up, I need to get in that vehicle and actually start driving towards my desired transformation. I need to trust myself. And so every day just spending five minutes and listening to music and pinning on Pinterest isn't hard. You can do it on your phone and you can listen to music at any stage of the day, but maybe you find another way to integrate it. Maybe you do it through meditation, journaling, visualization, whatever feels best for you. Five minutes every single day, remind yourself that you are in the pursuit of actually changing your life. Get excited for it. Not every day will be perfect, but at least every day you will move forward. All right, so that is it for me. I hope this is helpful. It's definitely worked for me. I would love to know how you're feeling. Are you feeling excited? I would absolutely love for you to reach out to me on Instagram and let me know, share your journey with me, share what you got out of this episode, but also you can comment below as well. And the final thing that I do want to say that if starting a business is a part of the pursuit of the life that you would like to live, the transformation, if you would like to build an online brand, if you would like to have that freedom lifestyle, I would absolutely love to invite you to join my membership. It is just $22 a month, which honestly is cheaper than grocery at this stage, but it teaches you everything that you need to know to start an online business, as well as has this really supportive community where you can have questions answered and network with like-minded entrepreneurs. So I'm going to leave the link to that below. Come join us in the Chillpreneur membership and let me know what you thought of this video. I love you and I'll see you in the next one.